Hey everyone, um, I've been hearing for a couple weeks how everyone has different opinions about the whole Sierra slash Russell Wilson situation, and, mm, you know, a lot of people are calling Russell Wilson a simp, a lot of people are calling Sierra, you know, names like, you know, a hood rat and all that stuff, and... I don't really think Sierra's a hood rat, but at the same time, I do feel like she made some mistakes, you know? I mean, that can't really be ignored here, but I don't know. I just have mixed emotions about the whole situation. Um, because it says here, future events after Sierra brings baby future to Russell Wilson's training camp. And, okay. That right there, I... I can sort of understand how Future might feel some type of way because you're bringing, I don't know, how old is this baby? You're bringing your 14-month-old. I wish people would stop doing that. The kid is past 12 months. Just say he's a year old. I don't know why they all this, they do all this 14-month stuff. But anyway, what, let's just say one-year-old. One-year-old son. You brought your one-year-old son around the guy you've been dating, I think, since April. Which, you know, I've heard people on radio shows, you know, saying, you know, no, she shouldn't bring the kid around Russell Wilson. You know, too many kids are getting molested and touched. And while, yeah, that, that does happen because a lot of mothers don't pay attention. But, eh, I don't know. It seems okay to me. I don't know. I could be wrong, but. Just from what I've seen about Russell Wilson, he doesn't seem like that type of guy. He seems like an upstanding guy. But at the same time, I have to question his mindset. Like, okay, you're a single man. You just signed a contract for, I don't know, however million. You're worth a lot. Why would you want to date a woman who has a child? And it's one thing if you have a child too and you're a single father, but... Why would you want to date a woman who has a child, especially if you yourself don't have any? See, that's what I don't understand, because take me, for instance. I'm, you know, I'm not single. I'm in a relationship, but I don't have any children, and my boyfriend doesn't have any children. So, I mean, we both agree. Like, we would not want to date somebody that has that kind of baggage, because if you're a person who has a child, that child has to come first financially, mentally, emotionally, physically, everything. Everything is about that child. Once you have a child, it's really no longer about you. So, I mean, this is just me personally. If I have a 14 month, just say a year old, a, year, a son who's a year old or a daughter who's a year old, the last thing I'm going to be trying to do is date because I just feel like it brings too much confusion and it, to the child. And especially in this situation because we all know, okay, future cheated on Sierra, yada, yada, yada. He sucked as a boyfriend, but we don't know how future is as a father we don't know you know just because he was a shitty husband or a shitty boyfriend that doesn't mean he's a bad father he might be a great father and you know russell wilson's gonna be put in an awkward position because sooner or later when that baby gets old enough to speak and let's say russell wilson tries to you know discipline him or tell him what to do i wouldn't be surprised if the baby said to him you're not my dad. I have a dad. You can't tell me what to do. Which, it's true. You're not his dad. And also, you know, Sierra. I mean, I'm not, I don't know Sierra, you know, personally. I'm just saying a lot of single mothers, not all, have been known to do this. You're not his dad. That's my son. That's my daughter. So, I mean, Russell's kind of putting himself in a tough situation because it's baggage. And then not only that, you have to deal with, you know, baby mama, baby daddy drama, and all that crap. You gotta deal with the ex, you gotta deal with, you know, that not being your kid. So you can't really discipline him or her the way you would. You really can't. Because if you're not the biological parent, you almost have no say. So, I mean, me personally, I wouldn't even be in that situation.
And let me read some of the article to you guys. Okay. Family drama. Rapper Future sounded off on Twitter this week over a controversial move made by his ex fiance Sierra. The Body Party singer, 29, made headlines on Friday, July 31st, when she first toted Baby Future, the 14-month-old son whom she shares with her ex to visit her new boyfriend, Seattle Seahawks player, Russell Wilson. Sierra brought her cute kid with her to the Seahawks training camp in Seattle, where Wilson is practicing with his team. In shots from the season prep, which continued this week, Baby Future is shown hugging Wilson and taking in the action from the sidelines in his mother's arms. The visit was a polarizing one as some fans applauded the sweet moment while others slammed it as inappropriate and too soon in the relationship between the singer and the athlete. While rapper Future31 chose not to name his ex directly, he tweeted after the picture surfaced of his son with Sierra's new man. Never make a permanent decision over a temporary circumstance. Too bust up. Whatever the hell that says. I don't know what he means by that. Okay, don't direct my tweets to no punk ass ho. Wow, okay. <laughs> The devil gun come from all angles, but I'm covered with angel. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Sierra, who has been dating Wilson since April, seemed to take little notice of her former flame, taking to Instagram on Monday, August 3rd, to share a gorgeous shot of herself posing with Wilson on the football field. The Grammy winner, who split from Future in August 2014 following the couple's October 2013 engagement, went on to post a second photo, this time of herself and her baby, at the camp. For his part, Wilson seems to be ignoring the drama and focusing on his football game and his faith. The quarterback, who quickly became the Seahawks' star player, spent recent days tweeting Bible verses and sending love to his teammates. Wilson's faith has come to the forefront as of late, as he and Sierra have publicized their decision to remain abstinent in their relationship. Sierra, who hinted at rumored infidelity on Future's part in her song, I Bet, since she and her love are waiting for marriage before they have sex, or as she put it, abstaining until the deal is sealed. Now, this whole thing about them abstaining, it's one of those things that, you know, sounds good when you hear it, but you have to be analytical. You know, I know since I'm a woman, I'm probably going to get hate for saying this, but my YouTube videos are controversial anyway, so I might as well say this. Um, so Future was just allowed to impregnate you, really no commitment, and he got you pregnant, yet you're making a good guy like Russell Wilson wait. So really, you're making Russell Wilson pay for what Future did. She should have been doing that with Future. She should have been like, no, we're not having a baby until you commit to me, until we are married. She should have done that. She should, I don't know, I, I never understand this, why... Some women, and when I say women, I mean women of all ethnicities, not just a particular group. I do not understand why some women, you know, they'll let the bad boy do whatever the hell he wants. They'll let him do whatever he wants. He can run in them raw. He can get them pregnant. He can call them out of their name. He can call them a bitch. He can call them a hoe. He can do whatever. And yet... You don't call him out on it. But then when you dump the loser and you get with a responsible guy, a respectable guy, then you want to play the card of, oh, I want to wait. I want to be abstinent. I don't want to have sex. I want to wait. It's like, wait a minute. Why does Russell Wilson have to pay for what Future did? You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, the whole situation to me seems kind of hypocritical. I have mixed, like I said, I have mixed emotions about it. On the one hand, she's with a good guy now, but at the same time, 
it just seems like to me that Russell Wilson is being used as, you know, he's playing daddy to a kid that's not his. And that's going to end up blowing up in his face at some point. Because don't think that baby future down the line won't be like, you're not my dad. I have a dad. Which he does. And on, on another note, on Future's part, he almost sounds like a hypocrite because, you know, he's talking about, oh, don't bring him around my kid, yet people forget Future has several different babies' mothers. I think Sierra might be the fourth one, and I could be mistaken, but didn't he bring Sierra around the rest of his children back when they were dating? So, I mean... Mm, he's hypocritical too and also I don't know if I ha like I said if I have a kid that young I'm just not gonna be trying to date it's too I don't know it's just and uh, it, it just seems like too much baggage too much drama and I'm a firm believer that if you're a single mother then you shouldn't be trying to date a single person because that's totally different. And relationships are hard enough without putting children in the middle between you. It, it's hard, you know. And I hear a lot of women, not all, but I hear a lot of women saying, you know, a real man would take care of another man's responsibility. And I'm like, huh? But if it's not biologically his, he shouldn't have to. I could see if it was his kid, you know, then, yeah, he has to. But if it's not his, then no, he doesn't have to do anything financially. It's not his. And also, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, I, I deserve to have a good man. It's like, yeah, you do. But at the same time, date someone who is like you, you know, if you, like hypothetically, let's just say for shits and giggles, I'm a single mom. Do you think I'm going to try to date a man who doesn't have children? No. Because people, and I should know this because I'm selfish as hell. Why? Because I don't have children. And people who tend to not have children or have never had children, they can't relate. You know, they can't relate to, oh, the babysitter canceled. Or, oh, my child has a fever. Oh, I had to rush him or her to the ER. Oh, so-and-so has, you know, a soccer game or a ballet recital or a piano recital or whatever. I mean, you can't relate because you don't have any. I mean, if I were Sierra, hypothetically, I'd be trying to date a single father. Because at least we would understand, you know, where it's coming from, you know? we would be able to relate because, don't get me wrong, Russell Wilson seems, you know, seems like a good upstanding guy, but you have to remember, he doesn't have any children. And people who don't have children, I'm not saying they hate children because, you know, I don't have any, I love children, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to want to contribute financially out here to kids that aren't mine. That's my only thing with it. And I never understand why, you know, a lot of the time women expect, you know, men to accept their baggage. And, oh, you, it doesn't matter if I have kids from a different guy. He should want to date me anyway. It's like, um, yeah, but, but a question that's never asked to women is, okay, fine. What if you were single? Would you want a man with kids? And the answer would probably be no. So you see a lot of the hypocrisy out here. But anyway, guys, that was just my opinion on the whole situation. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this since I'm a woman and I'm saying this, but, you know, I don't care. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe, like. Love you guys. And let's say Russell Wilson tries to, you know, discipline him or tell him what to do. I wouldn't be surprised if the baby said to him, you're not my dad. I have a dad. You can't tell me what to do. Which, it's true. You're not his dad. And also, you know, Sierra. I mean, I'm not, I don't know Sierra, you know, personally. I'm just saying a lot of single mothers, not all have been known to do this. You're not his dad. That's my son. That's my daughter. So, I mean, 
Russell's kind of putting himself in a tough situation because it's baggage. And then not only that, you have to deal with, you know, baby mama, baby daddy drama and all that crap. You got to deal with the ex. You got to deal with, you know, that not being your kid. So you can't really discipline him or her the way you would. You really can't. Because if you're not the biological parent. Hey, everyone. Um, I've been hearing for couple weeks how everyone has different opinions about the whole Sierra slash Russell Wilson situation and mm, you know a lot of people are calling Russell Wilson a simp a lot of people are calling Sierra you know names like you know a hood rat and all that stuff and I don't really think Sierra's a hood rat, but at the same time, I do feel like she made some mistakes, you know? I mean, that can't really be ignored here, but I don't know. I just have mixed emotions about the whole situation. Um, because it says here, future events after Sierra brings baby future to Russell Wilson's training camp. And, okay. That right there, you know about Russell Wilson, he doesn't seem like that type of guy. He seems like an upstanding guy. But at the same time, I have to question his mindset. Like, okay, you're a single man. You just signed a contract for, I don't know, however million. You're worth a lot. Why would you want to date a woman who has a child? And it's one thing if you have a child too and you're a single father, but... Why would you want to date a woman who has a child, especially if you yourself don't have any? See, that's what I don't understand because take me for instance. I'm, you know, I'm not single. I'm in a relationship, but I don't have any children and my boyfriend doesn't have any children. So, I mean, we both agree. Like, we would not want to date somebody that has that kind of baggage because if you're a person who has a child, that child has to come first financially, mentally, emotionally, physically. I, I can sort of understand how future might feel some type of way because you're bringing, I don't know, how old is this baby? You're bringing your 14-month-old. I wish people would stop doing that. The kid is past 12 months. Just say he's a year old. I don't know why they all this, they do all this 14-month stuff. But anyway, what, let's just say one-year-old. One-year-old son. You brought your one-year-old son around the guy you've been dating, I think, since April. Which... You know, I've heard people on radio shows, you know, saying, you know, no, she shouldn't bring the kid around Russell Wilson. You know, too many kids are getting molested and touched. And while, yeah, that, that does happen because a lot of mothers don't pay attention. But, eh, I don't know. It seems okay to me. I don't know. I could be wrong, but just from what I've seen, everything, everything is about that child. Once you have a child, it's really no longer about you so i mean this is just me personally if i have a 14 month j just say a year old a, year, a son who's a year old or a daughter who's a year old the last thing i'm gonna be trying to do is date because i just feel like it brings too much confusion and it, to the child and especially in this situation because we all know, okay, Future cheated on Sierra, yada, yada, yada. He sucked as a boyfriend, but we don't know how Future is as a father. We don't know, you know, just because he was a shitty husband or a shitty boyfriend, that doesn't mean he's a bad father. He might be a great father. And, you know, Russell Wilson's going to be put in an awkward position because sooner or later when that baby gets old enough to speak,